Okay, Dawn back checking in on the AS Rock virus scan with AVG. It's at 75% now, and uh, <clears throat> there's some uh, stuff in uh, Spybot Search and Destroy. Oh, that's in the quarantine. But it says they're password protected. That must be stuff they've been taking out before. I'm not sure. Okay, and then the Kingo root components deal files, which I <coughs> talked about before. This is in a different place, though. And uh, oh, a cookie. Windows cookies text warning found tracking cookie. Yeah, well, we knew that. They're always, they're always trying to track you. Uh, and then, uh, downloads back Don's Android Alcatel 845L phone one. That's just one I'm using right now. These are my backups. I j don't just have the videos on here. I have all my full backups on here. Uh, that's in the APK file. It's in an app file. Generic client provisioning handler. That is something that came with the phone. Yeah, client provisioning. And, uh, com.san.android. I don't even know what that is. Hidden extension JS. JavaScript. <coughs> and, uh, toolbox. That's my program I use all the time. Toolbox. It's hard to stay on the same line. Get the lines right. Another hidden extension JS. Oh, and then my mom's. She, I, I actually have three of these phones. I got one for my mom. Uh, so I have her backups on there too. Same thing. Client provisioning. That's just probably how the makers of the phones spy on you. And uh, so it's showing up as possible malware, which it probably is really. Um, it's good to know that uh, it's, it's not just this phone that's infected, but it's the standard file that comes with the phone. I mean, it, it's educational, put it that way. Uh, and that one that I don't know what it is, user apps, com dot sand dot Android 3.2.2.2.20.15.5. Same. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, it came with the phone. Since it's in both phones, backups, I'm pretty sure it did. If it was in just one, then I might think, okay, now mobile phone. Oh, strict target. Kingle root. Execute. That would be the Windows executable for user Don download. Yeah, that. For installing Kingo root to root this phone and tweaking Windows system tweaking cleans glare utilities password protected. Huh, well, I use that all the time, it's a good uh, Windows utility, but it, for some reason it's password protected. Yeah, so it's in my downloads folder, so this is where you know I would actually expect maybe to find some bad stuff. Well, by now I shouldn't as many times as I've scanned it, but. Then again, remember this is very strict. I, I put it on they <laughs> some apps call it uh, what do you call it paranoid. I put it in paranoid mode, and uh, also the strongest pup scanning that you could do. So all of a sudden, it I guess it's on a big file or something. It stopped scrolling through files, and all of a sudden, yeah, okay, it was on a big file, I guess. Okay, oh yeah, it's in Fedora. It's again in ISO. Some of those are pretty big because I have quite a few. Yeah, Fedora. So it's scanning. It actually says Live USB Creator. That's some of the ones that it kept. The, all the programs I've been squawking on that I think maybe could actually have been and something bad in them and what spread, you know, cause getting spread through my system, putting Trojans in my system because I found real sure enough Trojans in all these systems, but. There was one or two or three in this one, I think, that were 
kind you just have to kind of unless you're going to do some extensive research you look at the I look at the name and and look, think back over what I've experienced in years past as whether or not it's a I think it's a real virus or it's a and of course you know that's sort of just a somewhat educated guess not a real great I, I used to do a lot of research on them but I don't do it as much anymore because I don't mess with window systems that much anymore so I, I, anything that's in here that might be a false positive it won't my heart for me to get rid of it because I have most of this stuff Except for this phone stuff, not all this is going to be backed up somewhere else, but the, as far as my programs and stuff, it's in my downloads folder. That'll be in my server. But I may end up having to, even, it's a Linux server, so you know it's never been bothered, even if nothing spreads through it, none of these Windows viruses. But if there really are viruses in them, I don't want them, of course. <coughs> okay, uh, yeah. Oh, what is that? How, there it is. Windows. HB Hirons Boot CD execute unresolved Trojan horse dropper generic four. And see, that's the kind of things I'm talking about. How did that get in there? That that maybe that got in there somehow. Uh, Trojan horse dropper. That's in what? Hirons again. Okay. Now you're in the. I've had these Hirons. Hirons 15 is the newest one I know of, and it's three or four years old. So it actually runs, you know, the Mini XP and 7. Of course, 7 came out not long after that. We had Vista and 7, whatever. Was there something in between? I can't remember. So anyway, now we're up to 10, so uh, that many years. And, uh, of course, well, 11, let's see. What did I have? 11 or 12, 14, and 15. So they all ran uh, mini XP, you know. But uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, point being that it was always good. It never squawk, you never was squawked in any other scans before. So did something get in, uh, evidently on my server that was, huh? Did something get on my server that was actually able to spread around, or is it? Uh, something that's coincidentally I co you know I copy a lot of my favorite stuff over to new windows systems and then maybe it's coincidentally able to get into certain the same uh, like Hirons and different ones over and over again in different machines because from everything I know about windows viruses they can't uh, in fact crawl around move around Linux systems there are Linux viruses are cross-platform more and more now cross-platform viruses malware however you need to call them you know that can get you know, work through any system you know, can in fact work around worm around any my uh, you know Linux Windows Mac all three or and maybe maybe BSB uh, BSD maybe Unix itself you know especially the Java the ones that are uh, uh, you know, or Java based, uh, if you have Java on your system, then that's all it needs to work. And uh, I don't actually have Java on some of my Linux systems anymore because there's another, there's a, I believe it's called IST that pro, uh, uh, that'll run, uh, you know, what you need to run in your web browser and uh, Java apps. I've been I just been using that for the last since about Fedora 22 21 I think so anyway but my server is Fedora 14 and it has has Java on it or it did unless I took it out I don't remember yeah I see some corrupted executables but that can show up a lot anyway like all, all almost all Java files show up as corrupt executables and a clam AV scan within Linux makes it hard to decide on that and uh, so do a lot of Linux applications so uh, you know you either ignore them or you're gonna have to be deleting a lot of your stuff that's nothing wrong with it but uh, I'm looking back up my list there
corrupted executable. Usually if it's a Windows executable and it says it's corrupted, it's usually because it's infected with a virus. Now that used to be a good rule of thumb. So, but that Trojan horse dropper, that kind of makes me think that there really could be something in that Hirons. Unless, let's see, what's well, HBCD customizer? Oh, now that's so that you can make your own remix of Hirons. You can add your own apps. I wonder if there's something about the way that works that they just think it's a Trojan horse dropper. Because what it does is, I guess, kind of change your uh, your executable exe file into probably a 7-zip. That's what I was talking about earlier. That's how the Hirons sets up its uh, portable apps. I did it once, and that's... I used it once a long time ago, and I've been thinking about doing it again. So I do have... Uh, I think I still have a, that version of Hirons that I made. But, uh, on my server. But I don't think I had it on this machine. So, I'll stop there. I'll be glad when this is done. I'm getting tired and ready to go get ready for bed. Alright. <coughs> uh, I'll come back when it's done. Uh, whenever that is. Okay, bye.